Okay, hi guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up the newsletters widget to show everybody on your site the latest newsletters that you've created and that you need to send out to parents and also how you can add in the subscription management section which is there so that parents want to add any email addresses if they've changed theirs or if the new parents to the site they can add in their new email address in their name um, and that'll be added onto your subscription list um, which is good so when you press send everyone that's in your subscription list is going to receive that latest newsletter so first of all if you'd like this on the home page then all you need to do is go to manage and then down to newsletters now in here you can see we've got some test ones so I'm going to just delete these so I can make it a little easier for you now you would go to add newsletter so I'll just put in a title here so June newsletter 2016 for instance and then a little description, so trip to the zoo. And then next we'll put in the date uh, which the newsletter was, um, was created and that you want it to be sent out by. So I'm gonna say it was the 1st of June. and then file attachment. So this is where if you click these three dots, that is now going to open up your file section. Now in here, we need to actually find the appropriate document. So you would have just created your June newsletter. So for instance, I'm just going to select one of these. And then I'm gonna go ahead and press newsletter now you'll see it appears within this section here so now what I'm going to do if I've already got a subscription list which is up here and I can have a look who's um, subscribed so at the moment we've got two people in your case you'll probably have a lot more so here I can either download the spreadsheet I can import some others uh, let's just say that I've got a big list you know that I've got from something else uh, some sort of older system maybe that you used to use or something like that or an email uh, import you want to use all your email contacts then you can go to that and um, you can also press unsubscribe and you can also edit as well so in here if you find that it's actually been added incorrectly you can change that as well or if they've changed their name because they've got married or something like that so I'm going to come out of this now now I'm not going to send it yet um, because I want to just show you how it looks on the actual site so if I come out of that you can see there's nothing on your home page at all yet even though you've created a newsletter so what we need to do is we need to actually insert the widget that you've just seen onto your page so I'm going to go to edit page and then I'm going to go to insert item and then it's down Sorry, this has been a bit awkward on here. Here we go, down to latest newsletters. It's going to ask me where I want to select it, where do I want to add it. So I'm just going to put it right here at the top so you can see. Okay, latest newsletters. There are currently no newsletters. Okay, so I'm just going to save page and publish. So if I go back to manage and then newsletters, this will show me what should be in there. So it does say June newsletter 2016. Now that's not showing because I haven't sent it yet. So it's quite good really to show you that in case you think you have sent it but you haven't, it won't actually show up unless you sit for a send. Right, 
right so if I actually go and press send and it says the newsletter will be sent to the two email addresses and two mobile devices are you sure so in your case you'll probably have a lot more I'll just press send and it says your newsletter has now been sent so if I click off this and I actually just refresh the page insert item and then down to latest newsletters hmm. I don't know why that's not showing going to test this again because it could be the type of file that we've added so I'm just going to put in here test newsletter January 2017 and add a little description so trip to the seaside keep it as today's date ahead and add a newsletter and this is a PDF so choose add newsletter and then I'm going to press send so I'm just going to go to insert Letters. Right, so we can see it now, it has actually come up. Um, now it does automatically update, which is quite useful. So you'll find that once you've added them in the Manage Newsletter section, um, you don't have, ever have to actually insert latest newsletters again. It's just the one time that you do it um, and it will automatically update. Now, I do apologize about before. What I think it was is that it was an incorrect file format so it's quite useful to note that Jotter works best with PDFs so you'll find that adding PDFs in this case it showed you that it did come up first time rather than the other document uh, file format not coming up uh, first time so I'm going to go ahead and press save page and publish being a little slower than usual today. So what I'm going to show you next is how if you want to attract uh, parents or any viewers really who want to subscribe to the newsletters obviously it's much more informative if you have a lot longer list really uh, so you can get your information out there. So if we go to edit page and instead of going to insert and latest newsletter because you would have already done that and you don't need to do it again you're going to be going to insert newsletter subscription now this is the same you'll only need to do this the once unless of course you delete it and you need to do it again so I it tends to be best having the newsletter subscription widget next to the newsletters widget really because they're about the same thing 
So if I actually click there, it's going to bring up latest newsletter subscription. So it comes up with the box. I can then move that to wherever I want to. If I want to have it above the latest newsletters or below. And then I can go ahead and press save page and publish. And then they appear above each other, which is really handy. Um, now, another thing to note as well is you can have um, your latest newsletters list be as long or as short as you would like. So after a while, each week or each month when you're adding new, new, new newsletters, your list is going to become longer and longer. Now, some people want them to be the longest um, so that every single one that you add will show. Some people don't want that and they feel like it takes too much room up. So if I actually go on and click this in edit mode, it actually brings up a section here which says newsletters five. So you can click that and make that go to 40. That would be the highest amount. So if I had 40 newsletters added in the, in the, um, in the section where you go to manage newsletters, then all 40 would show here. But if I only had it set to five, only five are gonna show. So I'm gonna just press update save page and publish and that is how you add the newsletters to the manage newsletter section how you add um, and insert the latest newsletters widget and also how you add the subscription box so that it makes it uh, easier for people to subscribe um, and that's everything thank you very much bye bye